Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. This is Phil Frame in for Gina DeVecchio, and this is the view right now. Here in Salinas, the sun is down. It's been down for about 10 minutes. And it's almost already completely dark. And tomorrow night at this time, it will be completely dark. Here's the situation in terms of the temperature. Currently 64 degrees, but at 3 p.m., the temperature was 84 degrees. And the dew point, instead of being 38, was 9 degrees above zero. Extremely dry air. Then the wind shifted, started coming out of the northwest, brought up the dew point, and brought down the temperature. Now, if we take a look at what we had for highs today, just about everybody was warmer. In the Santa Cruz County area, we had temperatures in the 70s to upper 80s, and Moss Landing came in at 81, Morgan Hill at 78, and Coralitos came in at 90 degrees, so temperatures very warm in that part of the central coast. And here in the Salinas Valley, well, we had 80s, mid to upper 80s throughout the valley. And in the Monterey Bay area, 70s and 80s and even 68 in Carmel. It was mostly warmer just about everywhere today. Now, currently temperatures are ranged from 60 in Santa Cruz up to 77 in King City. And everybody else is in between. Compared to yesterday, well, we have seen some cooling right along the coast. And there were a couple of places earlier today that were cooler along the coast than they were yesterday. Everybody else is about the same as they were yesterday at this time. Here's the situation over the last 12 hours according to our satellite and radar imagery. As you can see, there is no clouds along or near California at all. And if we take a look at what we expect to see happen over the next several days, that is really no change at all. You can see the jet stream, it's moving up into the central part of the nation and notice how it stays away from us. When we get rain, when we get our rainy season, that's when the jet stream dips southward over us and brings storms. And you can see, at least through Thursday, the jet stream is staying far away from us. And we're under this warm dome of the yellows and the oranges showing warm temperatures, which is going to persist through at least Thursday and possibly longer. And so, as a result, our temperatures for tomorrow, very similar to today. I think we might be a little bit cooler in some places along the coast tomorrow than they were today, but everybody else is going to be almost exactly like they were today. Nights are going to continue cold, although probably not quite as cold as this morning. It was 26 degrees in Bradley, and there were a number of places around the central coast that were at or below freezing. But tonight, yeah, another cold one, but not as bad. And don't forget, we are going to change our time. So take that clock back one hour. Next few days, really no change. If you're right near the water's edge, maybe you'll be in the 60s. You get any distance away from that, your temperature is going to rise dramatically, and the warmest places will be in the 80s. All right.